Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Tropical 5. My name is Shuka, and let's have a great time today. <laughs> okay, let's see. Get our little mind killer. Come on, guys. Gotta build everything up because we're running out of time. You do it on my beach. That's right, you better walk away. That's what I thought. Ah, no. You better keep walking. Don't you even stop. Don't even think about it. Yeah, you get out of here. That's what I thought. Oh. Our mentor Leon Kane taught me there is no such thing as excessive force when resolving a military conflict. No, I can't do it. I have too much shit to do. Um, let's go ahead and can we afford the wharves? We can afford the wharves. We'll, we'll do that. Put one right now and put the other one right now. And a road. Um, they still need a road. It needs to be attached. Um, and maybe it already is. Uh, uh, I don't know. Oh, it is. Okay, I didn't see it. <sighs> it was so small, I couldn't see it. Our mentor Leon Kane taught me there was no... Our research team developing new materials was wondering why this steel girder kept getting bigger and bigger until it hit them. They will be missed. Aww. Those poor people. Penultimo, I think you have a bad influence on our people. You're making them lose their IQ. Slowly. Come on, build it! So I can get the new thingy. Let's do the two free tenements. That right there. And that one right there. Our mentor Leon Kane taught me there was no. Yeah. Where should we put this one? Let's, uh. Put it um right here. Can we do that? Yeah. We better be able to defend ourselves this time, or else it's gonna be really embarrassing. Really embarrassing. Um. We'll wait, and we'll do that one in a minute. Oh, we need to do another entertainment. Uh, let's do a restaurant. Make the people happy. They will love me. I will make them love me. Can it fit? No. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at that. Enjoy that, my people. I do it for you. I do it to make you love me. Love me! Please love me! Don't you want me, baby? Don't you love me? Oh, I'm gonna make you love me, baby. Don't you love me? Now that we have bought the revolution, we can export it to other brother and sister countries. Me. Oh, we still have to do bananas. Add the banana. Such a beautiful fruit. So majestic. Put the fruit right there. Oh, crap. I, get, I should do um, a dock to another dock. To help with income. 
Okay, we'll just do one for right now. We can do the other one in a little bit. Well, hello there, old pal. America is all gloomy and doomy at the moment. I can't have that. If there's one thing I can't abide, it's mopery. Let's just let's do the fruit. Why not? Here is our latest scientific data. Foreign diplomats are 45% more prone to agree with us if our diplomats fart less often, or if they at least stink less. <laughs> As a part of a cross-group study, we also found that 33% of foreign diplomats do not like belching at the table. No. Finally, a staggering 95% have indicated that they have a very negative opinion of our diplomats singing the national anthem while standing on the top of the table naked. Who would have thought? What? Don't you make fun of my freaking amazing anthem. Oh, tropical, tropical, under this nation of tropical, everyone loves the tropical. Don't worry, you don't have to clap. I know you're crying with delight. What? How could you protest? It's such an amazing place to live. What? Y'all need to go home before a I run you over. Shout out to the Tropican police who just got a new home. Officer Mendez, you know you can thrift search me anytime. Uh also, you forgot your handcuffs. I kept them as a little memento. But if you need them, I could take your hat instead. Oh my god. So dirty. Alright, y'all need to go away. Go back to work. Come on. Go make me some damn money. Instead of protesting. Don't you mm -hmm, at me. Oh, I know your kind. Oh, do you now? Well, we'll have to take care of you then. Kill him! Kill him now! dead yet. Where did he go? See? They've already done the work for me. That's right! You disrespect me. You die. That's what happens. Who's this guy? Presidente! My career as a weatherman is over. I promised everyone a warm and sunny day. And now we have a tornado on the island. Near tornation. No. My people. They must be saved. Not the mine. Oh, you're a jerk, Tornado. Oh no, look at that guy! Run, guy! Run! No! You are so lucky right now. You just have no idea. Thing just needs to go away. I am back in the game. I can now accurately predict rains of cattle, shack, and furniture across the entire island. I'm so sad. Damn it. Can I rebuild it? Ah, there we go. If you rebuild it, they will come. Who is that? Who that? Who you? Who are you? 
No, no, no. No, but really, who are you? Yeah. Okay. Good evening. We should kill him. Don't want any crime in my town. You think you can just get away with it? And you freaking work at the police department? Are you kidding me? Ugh. Yeah, you're you're dying. I'm sorry. I'm sorry it had to be this way. But I can't have any enemies working for me. I'm just gonna have to die. Can't be any other way. Great giant tropical spiders, Presidente. We have a crisis and we have to act fast. What? Okay. Oh, snap. That's what happens, bitch. You did. Hey. <laughs> Who's that? Greetings. Are you kidding me? With all the rebels and stuff? I can't... I can't just keep killing them. I don't have that kind of cash. Or time. Oh, look at all them bananas. They're so beautiful. They look so delicious. Mm, nom nom nom. President. As you know, it is your will alone that keeps Tropico together. As the air was born, all animals became quiet. A light shone through the sky. Another woman? Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Meh. Ugh. I need a meal. Air, come on. <sighs> what should I... What should I do, guys? Eh, should I make, actually make her, like... Official or something? Eh, nah. Why would we do that? What's the point in that? It's, I, I think that outfit, outfit is just terrible. I don't know. Let's, eh, let's make her look half decent, I guess. What do you guys think? You know what? We're missing the most important part. Yes. Perfect. Do it. Oh, you're boring. Great giant tropical spiders, Presidente. We have a crisis and we have to act fast. Oh, was I supposed to do an embassy? That probably would have helped. <laughs> a little too late now, I guess. Alrighty, everybody. I think that's a good stopping point for today's episode of Tropico 5. If you like the game, you should definitely support the developers. I'm going to leave a link in the bottom description below. And you can actually purchase the game on Steam, or you can purchase it straight from the developer themselves. If you like the episode, then please leave a comment below. I'd love to hear back from everybody. And you guys have a great day!